Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate an example of reactive screen components within flows using formulas. This is a new feature which is coming within the summer 23 Salesforce release. To get started, navigate to process automation settings and make sure that you have enabled reactive screens beta. This is already enabled and I've already set this up within a flow. So let me run you through the flow so you can understand a little bit more about how this works. So from flows, I'm going to go into my discount calculator screen. For this flow, the idea behind it is that the user can enter an original amount, a discount percentage, and then the flow will dynamically work out what the discount value is and calculate a new amount minus the discount. So from my flow screen, I have a number of different elements. From here, I've got a currency element where original amount is set as required. Its default value is zero, and I have set it up to accept two decimal places. Discount works out very similar but instead of being a currency field it's a number field and i've set this as required its default value is zero and again i've set it up for two decimal places you can see here that my discount value has a default value set this is where the magic of reactive flows is going to come into play and once I have entered the initial two values, the flow will dynamically, before my very eyes, work out the discount value for me. Additionally, I've added another field here as an example, which takes the original amount, minuses the discount value, and then displays a discounted amount to me as well, which again is going to be in pounds. So I'm going to close out of this screen and open up the flow toolbox to show you my formulas. The first one is the percentage discount formula. This takes the original amount, divides it by 100, and then times it by the discount value to work out the discount in pounds. My other formula takes the original amount minus the discount amount and then in effect calculates the new total. So this is the setup of my flow. I'm going to make sure that I save this and set it to active. And then I'm going to navigate to the home screen where I have already embedded this flow on a lightning page within the lightning app builder. So you can see here my flow is running and to keep things simple i'm going to set the value to 100,000 pounds with no decimal points as you can see i haven't set a discount value right now so that is showing as 0 pounds and also my discounted amount is in effect the same as the original amount because i haven't taken anything off yet for simplicity let's discount things by 10%. So you can now see that my discount value has updated to 10,000, and this has been taken off of the original amount to get the discounted amount as well. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration about how reactive flows could come to life with formulas and start to thinking about use cases for your own Salesforce org based on your particular business processes. I'm super excited for this new feature, and I know within future releases, it's only gonna get better with more support for additional flow components. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.